Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing an update on my project pan slash bottle slash I just need to use up a bunch of makeup in my collection. So if you didn't see my original video, I cleaned out my makeup drawers and I had a bunch of makeup that I wasn't really reaching for, but there's only like half or less left in it, so I wanted to use it up instead of throwing it away. So over the last couple of months I've been slowly working on these products and today I just want to give you an update on how I'm going. So starting with the three Rimmel foundations. First I have the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Nude and I feel like I am actually getting through this. Out of all the Rimmel foundations I feel like this one was my favourite as it is super full coverage but it can be quite heavy so I have just been mixing this in with other foundations and wearing it like that. I've pretty much been doing the same thing for both of these foundations as well. This one here with the silver lid is the breathable. I do find it's more of a thinner breathable formula as the title suggests and it is quite pink undertoned so I do mix it with foundations that may be a bit more yellow or neutral just so I can get the best shade for me. Those two Rimmel foundations I feel like I've been getting through quite well, there's only a tiny bit left, but as for the blue lid, the Match Perfection, I still have like half the bottle. This one is more of a light to medium coverage, so something that I don't really reach for, and as it is summer here in Australia now, I need something that's going to last on my face all day and that usually means a full coverage matte foundation so again I've been mixing this in but I haven't been reaching for it as much as these two Rimmel ones. Next I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I literally have the tiniest tiniest bit left in these. When I dipped back into it I realized how much I actually really love this foundation. It's got great coverage, it is really lightweight, and it's quite long lasting as well. So I really enjoyed getting back into this foundation and I've probably got like one or two uses left out of it and then I'm done. Next is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I'm actually making quite good progress on this one as well. I have about a quarter of the bottle left. This one I have also been mixing in with other foundations. This has quite a neutral undertone, so it has been a good one to mix in with some of the Rimmel ones that are more pink. I haven't been using this on its own because from memory I don't think it's a very matte full coverage foundation and as I mentioned that's what I'm needing for these hot summer months but I am loving it for mixing and I'm getting through it. Moving on to concealers I have the NARS Creamy Concealer Vanilla and Chantilly and I am well and truly done with these. This concealer is loved by so many in the beauty world and I definitely think it's a great concealer but there are so many more options available now for fair skin tones and that nice full coverage at a more affordable price. I probably won't repurchase this one but I really did enjoy it. Next is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm not making the best progress on this. There's really not much left so I should really just smash it out but I am just so obsessed with my L'Oreal More Than Concealer. I've actually been finding it quite difficult to remember to use the concealers I have because I just reached straight for my L'Oreal one because it's full coverage, it looks flawless. So I need to make a mental note again to dip into this and some others that I'm just about to talk about. So exactly the same deal with these ColourPop concealers. I have two shades here, 04 and 08. Both really great shades. I absolutely love the formula of this concealer. I just keep forgetting to dip into it. And there's literally like, like I'm scraping the bottle. They are almost done. Like just use it up, Tanika. And then the last concealer is the Maybelline Master Conceal. And I'm just not reaching for it. Out of all the concealers I just mentioned, this one I have the least interest in. So I think I just need to use it once, make a decision, keep it or get rid of it. That's that. Next I have the two brow products by Benefit that I talked about and first is the Gimme Brow Brow Gel and I have definitely used this up. I love this product so much, the tiny little wand is the best. It is more of a pricey product but if you are looking at splurging this is a great product and I do already have another one in my collection. And then there's the Cabrow Brow Gel and I just haven't been reaching for it. I have no interest in reaching for it really. So I think it's kind of the same thing with that Maybelline concealer. I just need to use it once, make a decision, keep it or get rid of it because yeah, I just, I just don't 
care really. <laughs> And then the last two products I want to talk about are some blushes that I couldn't decide whether or not I was going to keep in my collection and I have now made up my mind. So the first one is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Peach Primrose. And my concern with this was that I couldn't remember how it applied. I had a feeling it was patchy, but I just couldn't remember. And after using it again, I can confirm it's patchy. It's a shame because it is such a beautiful color and it is affordable, but I just didn't like how this one applied on me. I found I couldn't get it to blend seamlessly and if I tried to build it up, it was just looking patchy and I'm not here for that. And the other blush is by OXX Studio, which is a Kmart brand, and I decided I'm going to keep this one. The color of this is absolutely beautiful and it gives a really nice sheen to the skin. It's not incredibly long lasting, like I wouldn't wear this if I wanted my makeup to last a good 10 to 12 hours, but your average day, it's going to last and it looks absolutely beautiful. So there is my little update on my project, I don't even know what to call it, project use up my products. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hopefully the next time I speak about these products is in an empties video. If you aren't already, make sure you come follow me over on Instagram and don't forget to check out my first project, use up all these products and my declutter video that I will have linked down below. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.